Hello and welcome to another new video by Book Tales by Preetha wherein I make content on books, life, career, personal growth. In today's video, I will talk about seven impressive female characters which I really liked and want to recommend. And the first book that I would like to talk in this particular video is a book called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins. The book I read in 2018 and what attracted me during that time was the book's title and obviously the book's cover. Both were very impressive to me. This particular book, as the title suggests, talks about the seven husbands of a woman called Evelyn Hugo. Now who this Evelyn Hugo was? She was a popular Hollywood actress of the retro era. Today, Evelyn Hugo is in her uh, late 70s, 80s. She has hired a reporter to write her autobiography about her life. Obviously, her life is full of ups and downs, struggles and controversies, something that common public will find very eye-catching. Now, why I am recommending this particular book in this video? What I found Taylor Jenkins Reid has done quite a good research about Hollywood of the retro era, the heroines of those times and many more things. And the result is a character of Evelyn Hugo which she has created. And when you read the book, if you know about the Hollywood actress of 50s and 60s, you will find the resemblance of this character of Evelyn Hugo with many top actors of Hollywood of the 50s and 60s. So the research work of the author has paid her. And uh, to know more about the colorful life of Evelyn Hugo, a woman who married seven times, you have to read this particular book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Do read it and do let me know in the comment section down below what is your feedback about the book. The next character that I would like to mention in this particular video is Lisbeth Salinger from the book The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the first book of the Millennium Trilogy. Mikhail, a disgraced financial reporter, has been asked to solve the murder mystery case when he is hired by a wealthy Swedish industrialist to solve a 40-year-old murder mystery case of his niece. Will Mikhail be successful? That you have to read this particular book, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. In this particular quest of truth, Mikhail is assisted by Lisbeth Salander, an indigenous investigator whose fragile trust cannot be easily Lisbeth born. Salander is a remarkably impressive character. She is bold she is loyal she is honest she knows how to ride by she knows how to get her things done she has a body full of tattoos don't you find such female characters really bold and ahead of her times considering this book got published in the early 2000 and it was written before 2000 to know more about this particular character Lisbeth Salander you must read the girl in the dragon the girl with the dragon tattoo and the other books of the millennium trilogy there are many more aspects of this character which i can't just say in a two minute video but you do have to read the book to find about it if you find this character really impressive this character that i would like to talk about in this particular video of impressive female characters is the character of portia from Merchant of Venus by William Shakespeare. Now Portia is one of the female characters to whom I am fascinated since my school days because we had Merchant of Venus in our ICC curriculum. Portia is strong, intelligent, powerful. She is the high, she is the beautiful heiress of Belmont and she has been bound by a will that her father had created that she would be married to a suitor who finds the right casket. 
Portia secretly likes a person called Bassanio and it is Bassanio who wins Portia's hand for marriage. Bassanio is a Venetian noble, a soldier and a scholar. In the process against a court case which is between Shylock the Jew and Bassanio's best friend Antonio, Portia fights the case for Antonio, who is Bassanio's best friend, and she wins the court case against Shylock. To know more about the character of Portia, who is considered to be one of the most popular female characters of William Shakespeare, you do have to read The Merchant of Venus by Shakespeare. It is said that the character of Portia is very much influenced from the character of Queen Elizabeth because both the character of Portia and Queen Elizabeth were lover of proverbs and wordplay. Interesting, isn't it? If you haven't read the plays by Shakespeare, do begin by, write, by reading The Merchant of Venus. I'm sure you will Another enjoy. powerful impressive female character which I would like to talk in this video is Lady Macbeth from Macbeth which is again created by Shakespeare. Lady Macbeth is one of the most frightening female character ever created by Shakespeare. Lady Macbeth is strong-willed, she's ruthless, she is powerful and she can keep nobody in her way to reach her goal. She plans and plots a murder against Duncan and she knows that she has to push her husband Macbeth to get her job done and she knows very well how this job can be done. Now being such a grey and dark character of Shakespeare this is what made me talk about Lady Macbeth in seven impressive female characters that I want character to. that I would like to talk is from one of my most favorite author Elizabeth Gilbert and I'm sure by now you will understand which particular book I'm talking yes I'm talking about Eat Pray Love by Elizabeth Gilbert I've talked about this particular book in several previous videos of mine but I can never stop talking about this book this book people say is the autobiography of the author Elizabeth Gilbert here the protagonist is Liz Gilbert and uh, this particular character or this particular tale inspires us reader to take life as a journey, to take life as it comes. Struggle is a part of everybody's life. Somebody faces it today, somebody faces it tomorrow. This particular motivation has been so beautifully narrated in this beautiful tale of Eat, Pray, Love and the character of Liz Gilbert that every time this book or this character inspires me to talk about it in different contents of mine. Have you read any of these books that I am mentioning in this video? What are your views on the characters that I am mentioning? Do mention in the comment section because I look forward to your comments in the comment section. Also to know more about Book Tales by Preetha wherein I come up regularly with videos on books, life, career and personal growth, you need to subscribe my channel Book Tales by Preetha. Also tell your friends and relatives to subscribe my channel. The more number of subscribers, the more I get motivated to get to make new content, better content for all of you. And do join my Facebook group, which is a group for all book lovers and book readers where we discuss books and literature. It is called Book Tales by Preetha. There is an Instagram handle by the name Book Tales by Preetha. On Twitter, my handle is at the rate Preetha Shankar 18. And all the books that I am mentioning in this particular video or any of the videos that I make, the link of all these books are given in the description section down below. So that after watching my videos, if you want to buy any of the books that I have mentioned in any of my videos, then do buy it from the link given in the description section so that I get a small percentage as a commission from Amazon affiliate link. Now, let me stop blabbering about it and let's get back to the video once again.
next character that i would like to talk in this particular video is the character of lata from the suitable boy now the suitable boy is the quest of lata's mother to find a suitable husband for her daughter lata mind it the story was written during the time period of 1950s to 55 so the time was when india had just got independence now the entire story revolves around this character lata and will she make the right choice of a husband now you will see what is so impressive about this character this character i like because very important um, in this particular book the suitable boy is the time period during those times as per my knowledge indian females were not allowed to speak their mind in issues like marriage choice of husband etc but here in this particular story we see that lata is able to do so and that is what talks very many things about the indian society of that time and so i would like to mention this particular character of lata in this particular video now the sixth and the seventh character that i will mention in this video are from bengali books but don't get scared the characters from the books which have been taken the books have been translated to english as well so if you want to read these bengali books and you don't know bengali then you don't have to get scared of you have easy english adaptation of each of the two books that i would talk about in the next part next of the book it is the first promise or prothom pratistuti by asha purna devi this particular book is the first book of the book series talking about a character called satyavati no it is not satyavati from mahabharata but a very strong powerful character created by asha purna devi asha purna devi who is a very prominent popular bengali author it talks about satyavati's fight against um patriarchal society caste system and various societal prejudices that were present in the early 19th century bengal or rather we should say india as a whole this particular book won ravindra puraskar award in 1965 and uh, it also won the janpat award in 19th last character that i would like to talk over here is the character of binodini from chokher bali by ravindranath tagore binodini is a convent educated widow of 19th century bengal who is also very beautiful and attractive she cannot easily ignore society or endure rather society's negligence towards her binodini earlier was rejected by mahindra who marries younger uneducated ashalata now what happens to the life of mahindra binodini ashalata and why i am talking more about the character of binodini rather than ashalata and why i am talking in this particular video about this character binodini to find out do read chokher bali by ravindranath tagore you do have english adaptation of this book as well and if i get i will put the link in the description section below how did you like today's videos have you read this books and did you like this character or you are yet to read this books do mention in the comment section also i am eager to find out your feedback on my videos please do mention it i would be happy and to see more videos from book tales by preetha do subscribe book tales by preetha i will see you soon in my next video and before that do like my video if you like today's content tata and goodbye and have a great day ahead